Well, we warned you yesterday when we uh, Kelly and I saw the last sunset yeah. at uh, 615. It's pretty much gone now tonight since daylight saving time is over. Yeah, I was looking back. The, the, the next time we'll have a sunset after 541 p.m. is going to be like mid-January. So, oh, yeah, great. Full of great Thanks news. for that <laughs> tip. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, weekend overall, uh, not bad. Probably it not wasn't. as warm as some folks would sure. want. But uh, no big weather systems that we had here Saturday or Sunday. Here's kind of a rundown of what to expect this week as we look ahead. Going to be breezy tomorrow. It won't be as bright. We'll have more cloud cover. We still get to the 50s because the wind is from the south and southwest. Right now, a sunny election day. It will be chilly in the morning at the polls, and it'll be in the 40s in the afternoon. I'll have the timeline for that in just a second. And possibly nearing 60 on Wednesday as we get in the warm sector of a clipper system. And then there may be a transition from kind of a rainy start to Thursday to maybe a little bit of a snowy finish. And that will be a system that will fine-tune in the days ahead. Really can't give you any much more details than that. It's still several days out. Numbers right now, 47 in Richmond, 52 Columbus. We've got 48 here in ND and 46 in Kokomo with a layer of clouds over us now which will insulate the temperatures. I don't think we're going to have 20s on the map tomorrow morning when Chuck has you covered. So we'll go clouds tonight. Not as cold. Kids are still going to need the coats in the morning as we'll start out near 40 degrees. Plus, we're going to have a wind anywhere from 15 to 20 in the morning. So wind chill values, and that's most, most important, will be beginning in the lower 30s here. Not as bright. Going to be brisk. A little bit warmer than the 53 that we had for today. Want to step you through future track 13. We're at noon tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to get you through tomorrow and into the first part of Wednesday here. This is tomorrow evening. A couple little sprinkles or a shower as possible. Now we're election day morning here. Colder because we won't have the clouds around. It'll be the backside of a cold front. So 20s and 30s to start out. But look at the bright sky there. This is noontime. We're in the low to mid 40s. And we should make it up to about 45, 46 for a daytime high on Tuesday before the first of a couple of features come sweeping through here. It's a clipper system. I mentioned we'll be in the warm sector Wednesday afternoon, but to get to that, we may have to go through a little stretch run late Tuesday night and very early Wednesday morning of a combo of some rain, maybe some sleep pellets, and a few flakes of snow. It won't be much. It'll be quick and in and out, and then we're again nearing 60 degrees on a breezy wind coming at us on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, in terms of election day, what we're expecting is that, again, a lot of sunshine across the region, starting out in the mid-30s when the polls open at 6, will be in the mid-40s when they close at 6 p.m. Get out there and get your voting done on Tuesday. Here's the rest of the seven-day forecast now, 57-plus Wednesday. There's the day we'll focus on, two potential wintry system there. And, Jenny, look what it delivers here. Friday highs in the 30s and lows Saturday morning. Monumental marathon, thousands pounding the pavement, could be starting out near 20. You better bundle up, Sean <laughs> yeah. Ash. He'll be out there as well.